Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 3 of Pretty Boy Detective Club, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what this lady who <laughs> came out mysteriously out of nowhere last week, what the fuck she want? Because I don't trust her. Mm-mm. fucking precious like ah twenties We have a limo. Are we starting Persona? Because I'm so pretty as a girl. Like, oh, I can't. Yeah. How did you get into her house, though? Okay, Ray. Well, what's your business with me? No, but I think he does. I don't think she is either. Mm, you could be right about that too. Mm. He really is, honestly. I mean. <laughs> Oh, those are pretty roses. So, okay, here's my thing. So if her name is Ray, why did she call the person 1212? So, I mean, because like, 12 has to be the code name. So then what the hell is your code name then? Yeah. 
So then why do you wear glasses? To feel normal? And see, then it also makes you wonder with Mayumi, why, and also with Rhea as well, why wait until she's only like a teenager to kind of come and get her and kidnap her? They could have did this the next freaking day when she was like, what, five? exactly what it is <laughs> god he's so pretty right there like Yeah, but the rest of your team is at school. Oh, okay, never mind. Here they come. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> With his sexy ass legs. So pretty, even though you in love with a lolly. Okay.
Oh, you really dedicated on that, huh? No, it's okay. I want this OST so damn bad, but I know we gotta wait like six months for it, maybe? Yeah, your eyes are really pretty. That makes sense. He's right. Oh God, every shot he's so fucking beautiful. But like, uh, click, 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 uh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I can't. Love her shoes, like ooh. Oh, but Of course. Hell, it wouldn't surprise me if Sandra Dehada just falls right there and, you know, here's Agadagi catching her. your people Smart. That voice. Like
I honestly think so too. <laughs> well, Mama said he did want Chinese food. <sighs> oh. You better say yes. Why is her style so good? Like, God damn, her shoes. Yeah. You just feel better that way? So it's basically a yes. <laughs> well, right now she looks more like a boy than a girl.
so pretty. <sighs> Something also tells me, like, maybe Ray, number one, she is going to pop up again. I'm not 100% sure. But, okay, finding out that Mana is a fifth grader, I'm thinking this kid was in the same grade as everyone else. Like, because he looks older. He looks like he's 13. But... You serious? Like, oh. I I'm, I'm a little confused on um, how this ended and such. Or really most of the things that happened in this episode and everything. But the organization that Ray is a part of with 12 and with the rest of the numbers, plus the people who hired her, um, now they're not going to go after Mana May. That's fine. And such. But there, there's still a lot of like context clues to, that are missing to me, in my opinion. I think as someone who has not read the source material, it's going to be a little more confusing to me than someone who has read the source material. And they can immediately connect A, B to C. Because this was very much how I was when I watched Monogatari for the first time. Because I was hella confused on that show. And I was like, um... I understand, but I'm a little confused about this, this, that, other. And, like, between people recommending me to watch certain videos and then explaining as best as they could in the comment section without spoiling um, the entirety of the Monogatari series, like, I was able to understand it a lot more by the time I finished it. But, yeah, it's still a good show and I loved it. But, yeah, something does tell me that Ray is possibly going to come back. I don't think this is going to be necessarily the final time we see her i don't know if she possibly will come back but it didn't really surprise me that she immediately got out of prison like the next freaking day i mean because come on she's a criminal so 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 of course she's gonna get out like it ain't nobody's freaking business she kind of gives me um what the fuck was his name oh my god i can't remember his name it's the enemy of, um, oh my god. I can't remember his motherfucking name. Oh my god. But, uh, of course, like, Sinjin Ahada does not like him. Really, almost like everybody in the entire cast of the Monogatari series does not like this character. It's the guy who, f he, he lies almost about, like, everything. Him. I just don't remember his name. Um, but, like, yeah, Honestly, she gives me, she's like a female version of him. She's very interesting, but it's... Okay, considering off where I left off, my, my freaking computer froze on me and I had to restart it and such. Um, like I said, I believe Ray. she's gonna come back in some shape, way, or form. Um, but now that, you know, May is officially a part of, you know, Pretty Boy Detective Club, um, I'm really curious to see what else, like, she's going to be useful for, for her eyes, and see what all the rest of the boys are essentially going to do. Um, even, like, Mana, because, like, okay, yes, as a leader, still cannot believe this boy is in the freaking grade, um, it, it's just wondering what else are they bringing to their table besides, you know, their charisma, their smarts, their, um, je ne sais quoi, everything else that you can bring in this group because it seems like, because we were honestly comparing this to Oran High School Host Club and Ish, um, everyone's just too perfect and it feels like nobody's going to make a mistake with this series. I don't know. I mean, we're only episode three into the dang show and this is going to be at least a 12 episode series because who knows how much of each book they're going to do because if the first book was I'm guessing three episodes long um because it makes you wonder like how many books currently there are possibly and how many episodes they're going to do for each series because like I said goes back into the Monogatari series on how there <laughs> there's so many books for that even where they ended there was still more that was being done and a lot of people said yeah there's a lot of material that they can do um, that's left that they can continue the show if they really wanted to and even now in 2021 as someone who finished that show like almost what two years ago um I would love to see them continue on even with this however the heck this is going to end because every week this uh, this series in interests me more and more there's something about it that is different about a lot of shows it's very underrated because I don't 
really hear a lot of people talking about this show. Maybe, like, yeah, like, how pretty the guys are and everything and it's like that, but not to the aspect of, holy crap, this is just good, because if you're looking at other people who are possibly also watching a whole bunch of anime as me, I may be, like, one of, let's say, four people who are maybe watching this. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, because there, cause there are times with this series that it makes you really, truly think and every week, I, I've always either, like, decided to rewatch the episode maybe once or twice, or I go back and I try to look for something that I didn't see the first time initially. But, like, I think what I'm going to do with this series, especially when it is done completely, I think I might go back because I have a lot of questions and such. But now, since Ray is now gone, and even though May declined the offer and she left, it, is it, like, is she still going to be, um running away essentially for the rest of her life or not trying not to get caught by you know these whoever the freak wants her military or fbi or whoever because of course yes the pretty boy detective club is going to protect her no matter what but at the same time like is her parents gonna do anything about it i mean her parents literally have only been mentioned in like what the first freaking the first two episodes of the show and after that it's like mm Y'all non-existent. Just like Aganagi Hero's parents. Because how many times did I say in the whole entire series, like, where is your family at this? Like, And then somebody was like, oh, well, you know, they cops. I'm like, yeah, but that don't make no sense. Like, even as a cop, you should still be able to be home with your three kids. And it's like that. And it kind of feels like that with May and her family. I mean, yes, she wanted to be an astronaut, but now... Um, she's moving away from that dream, essentially, and it makes you wonder, possibly, by the end of the series, what is going to be her new dream, essentially, with this group, but, of course, we gotta wait and find out. But, yeah, I, I still, I'm really, really interested into this even more, but your girl wants to read the source material, but, like, I, I see, if I end up reading the source material, I'm gonna end up spoiling things for myself, and I don't want that, so I think what I'm going to do... Um, I think I said this last week, is kind of really wait until the end of this series and then once the series is completely done and being pretty AF, um, I think that's when I'll go out, get the first book and read the first book and really like probably go back and rewatch each episode or like whatever case goes with each book and stuff like that because something tells me that all of book one are episodes one are yeah episode one to episode three then case two is going to be book two to book whatever essentially and such but i don't really know we just gotta wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three of pretty boy detective club if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next saturday for episode four bye guys